Right, so, after saving night again, we've um, got to just go back into Lost Park, because that's basically the setup for the game. But you're following me, Owl. Oh, whatever. <laughs> So let's begin the second mission! I do like some of the missions in um, Lost Park here, but there's one which we'll be getting to shortly, which... Oh dear. Wow! I didn't realise it before, but this tree is pretty incredible! It is indeed. A tree that reaches all the way up to the heavens must be a sign of your heart's resolve. Huh? I do quite like Look this track. Closely. It's it's nice. Small <laughs> links, and what little greenery there is, all center around the tree. This tree must be the source of all life for this dried up desert world. I do hope that it remains strong and healthy. Yeah, so do I. Well, it'd be kind of it'd kind of hey, suck if um, it didn't stay alive, you know. From the tree. Really? Where? That's not a seed. Whoa! What is this? Wait a minute! That's not a seed. It's a bomb. Look! Look! Look, look out! The nightmarins are trying to destroy the lake and the tree along with it. Well, that sucks. I like this tree. It looks nice and interesting. Simply awful. Oh. Don't worry, old bird. You just stay right here. We'll take care of these clowns. Come on, Will. Oh, okay. Yes, we will. And this is um, basically it's a fun little mission. Uh, you've got to use the dolphin persona to uh, smash through the uh, bombs, which to stop them from exploding. Um. Now. I um, decided um, that I really did want to try and aim for a full A rank run, and uh, I can I can say this now, seeing as I'm incredibly close to the end of recording nights here, um, in the sort of that's definitely been a success, maybe so far. Mm. So if you see me reset. Or you hear the dee dee do peaceful moments are. It's because um, I retried the level because I want that A rank. Um, the trick to getting the A rank in this level with um, quite cool song, which is Wandering Wilderness Bomb Panic, um, is to get the links. Try not to hit the bombs because time is a factor. But if you can do like that loop bit that I did right at the start, yeah, that that the link things you get from the links there generally give you enough points to uh, get yourself into the A rank. So the only thing with this level is that it is essentially just going around in a circle for a couple of minutes. I don't quite know what do, um, getting rid of the rope does. I think it um, essentially uh, sends them off flying into the um, air, maybe? I don't know. But you, you can hit at least, well, one bomb and you should be alright, but you want to try and hit as few as possible. Um, I think you need to get over 24,000 points to get the A rank. So, yeah, you need those links. Well. So, 
let's go back in, because, you know, this needs to be done, doesn't it? Now, I can't remember, is this the one I dislike? Nope, it's Octopore! Oh, I love Octopore's missions, they're fun. What's Octopore doing here? Um, oh, well. Lisa. Let's have a that, little that, that's, um, that was some great voice acting there, Doc. <laughs> so, essentially, it's exactly the same as the last time. You've got to get through 30 rings. It's just, like, you've got to get a 30 or something or higher, which is... A bit of a challenge, but um, nothing for me to worry about. More ha! Right. Well, might as well get a bit of trivia out of the way, eh? Whilst we're just chilling with Doctor Paul here. Um, demand for a sequel to Knights into Dreams, which was the original, had been strong for many, many, many years. Um. A game with a working title, Air Knights, had been in development with the um, Tilt Sensor in the uh, Sega Saturn analog pad, and development later moved to the Dreamcast for a time, but the um, project was discontinued, and there ended up being a mere prototype for the um, motion sensing technology that was later used in um, Sam of the M Eagle. According to um, Yuji Naka, who was the original producer and main programmer of Knights, um, I know a lot of people love it and want us to make a sequel, but for us it's really it's a really important game. Like the way Spielberg likes E.T. so much he won't remake it, I don't want to make another night. Um which sucks. In an interview in 2000, November 2003 edition of Edge, he was asked if he would like to develop another Knights game, and Eugenaka said, um, I see Knights as a license. When dealing with such a license from the past, it is quite a lot of work. But I would like to use Knights to reinforce Sega's identity, yes. Uh, in 2006, well, March 2006, Yuji Naka left Sonic Team for um, Pro, where he was rumoured to um, resume work on Knights of Sequel for the Nintendo Wii, but um, the studio announced that they were going to be creating new intellectual properties and didn't plan on revisiting any past Sega franchises. Um, I think Yuji Naka went on to create that Kiwi, the something or other. Um, Rumours regarding a Wii um, sequel, remake, whatever, continued to appear during 2006. Um, Takashi Izuka started working on Nights 2, which is this game in November 2005, just after Shadow of the Hedgehog was shipped. Um, and in May 2006, the actual development started for Journey of Dreams. So, it just it had a bit of a long run before it got released, which sucks. And I really want a sequel to Knights. I, I love Knights as a concept, it's brilliant. And it's actually quite fun to play. It's like Klonoa and stuff. It, it, it's a lovely game, it just needs sort of some support. I mean, I think, um. What Luigi Naka was going on about, it's kind of like um, what um, Sakurai has said about Kinecus Uprising, that he doesn't want to keep making sequels for it constantly, purely because it'd get, this, because of the type of game it is, it's just too manic to be able to keep the pace up for numerous sequels, but I, I, I um, won't be happy if it takes pit another 25 years to um, return to the stage. That that would be a bit ridiculous. Oh, summer holidays! Oh, it's great to hear British terminology in video games. What's wrong, Will? Oh, nothing. Owl said that the reason this world is so lonely is because of my heart. If that's true, then I need to become stronger. 
That way, everyone in Nitopia will be stronger too. <laughs> Good resolve, Will. That's right. Was there a, a roller coaster here? There yeah, was indeed. A bunch of Nitopians just took off on it. Oh dear. Oh dear. But the Nightmarins have collapsed part of a cliff. Oh. And the rubble is blocking the tracks. What? And. and. when they crash into it. Okay, okay, don't panic. Just leave this to us. Okay, Will. You asked to see some more of my power. Well, you're gonna love this. Oh, no, we're not. Oh, good lordy, we're not. Coaster Nights is one of the most hideous things that I have ever had the misfortune of seeing. <sighs> um, musical piece for this um, level is um, Modern Wilderness Coaster Rescue. Makes sense. Now, this is a really easy mission to complete, but it's really difficult to pull to get the A rank. It's, it, it's stupidly hard to get the A rank. Because you can never build up enough um, boost to get anywhere decent. Um, staying that close to the bottom of the tracks doesn't seem to do anything. Neither does boosting uphill. And uh. now, I have found that um, hitting the scorpion things to get the points does help out at least a little bit. But, um, yeah, if you want to uh, get an A rank, you need to get to the Nightopians at about 16 seconds remaining. Because I think the um, A rank is 16,000 seconds. Well, it is 16 seconds remaining, so I think it's 16,000. But, um, yeah, that one's a tricky devil, and I've never actually A-ranked that before until, um, right now. So, um, I'm quite happy with myself, actually. <laughs> oh, don't you just love seeing all those A-ranks? Oh, it's glorious. And I mean that, it's just amazing. I like seeing all the lovely hay ranks just lined up in a row. The ground around here is all dried up. That's not good. Something doesn't seem right. Well, oh, actually, guard, it's a Will. desert. Okay. Of course it's blooming dry. So you finally decided to show up. But... But where is he? Somewhere. I think. There he is. Now, Camelan here, um, new track is Cackle and Camelan Hard Version. He, he is definitely slightly harder than the first time we ran into the, um, Chameleon. Uh, largely because, um, now he's got these, uh, things trying to kill you. And also he's got little tricks up his sleeve, so you, um, you may get through all of the, uh, find a string of, um, cards that lead you to, uh, where you think Camelan would be, but no, it's a bomb! However, if you find him, he's still really easy. It, it's just sort of, it's kind of luck as to how quick you are at um, finding him. If, once you found him, you can just kill him like that. There's no worries about that. But, yeah. 
Oh, I love that particle effect. It was so pretty. <laughs> with a visitor who possesses an idiot of courage and be silent Rihanna. yes my master you see Forgive don't me. talk down talk don't talk Everybody rubbish to the um, big evil head guy person Cerberus. Cerberus, the hellhound you are already oh dear aware. I know that they have quite a temper should you wish to avoid becoming their prey I might advise you to take care as well, Riala. I will take control of the Cerberus and bring knights to you. 